Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to go over with you uh, Redis now. I got working finally under C++. I'm using this project called ACL Redis. Um, these little happy faces mean that the client um, has been updated in the last six months. So hopefully this will be uh, continuously um, updated moving forward. Now there's a lot of been a lot of um, major advancements and improvements in Redis. So let me just show you what I've got running. Uh, right now, I've upgraded the Redis server. It's now Redis 4.02. I just did a brew install. Uh, sorry, well, at first you do a brew install Redis, and then you do a brew upgrade Redis. And obviously I'm on Mac, so it's different on Linux as well. But, um, you know, there's lots of different ways to do it depending on your Linux version or distribution. All right, so on the Mac version, we've got now, as I said, a C++ client that binds Redis into, um, into the C++. You can see here there's some big um, important... Uh, features one, namely the cluster. There's Sentinel as well, uh, an STL-like interface, and it's thread safe. All right, and it's high performance as well. Just so if you know, uh, Redis is considered one of the fastest databases in the world uh, because it's um it's uh, in memory and it's uh, a key value store as well. Um, hopefully, you go into my YouTube playlist, uh, you'll see everything that you need to see. So to get started, uh, what you gotta do is just move, get over to this uh, link, which is really this link. And uh, really what you're doing is you're gonna be using this entire uh, ACL library. But the things to understand is that the, the Redis lib is part of the lib ACL CPP library. So you've got a, a bunch of dependencies that you gotta you gotta build first. It's really easy if you know C and Lin and the basics of Linux. So what you do is just go up to here to the ACL, you clone it, do a git git clone, and then this repository in your terminal. Um, <coughs> and essentially that will download everything you need. From there, what you do is, as it says in the uh, README, in the README, uh, what you gotta do is you gotta build these libraries, um, the dependencies, which are the lib ACL. So you gotta create this .a file, the library. So um, just go into these folders and do a make in each one, okay? It's all explained properly uh, right here, okay? And um, yeah, so as an example, let me just see here. So we have Redis running. Always make sure you have the Redis running so it knows what to connect into. So I'm gonna create a new terminal. So, as I said, what we've got here, after you clone it from GitHub, what you can do is move up a couple of levels, namely to, let's see what level we're at. Uh, okay, so we got, now we're at the, the root, uh, directory, root folder, so if we do an ls, you can see all the necessary lib acl. This is, you gotta go into that one and do a make, you gotta go into this one, do a make, uh, I'm sorry, a lib protocol. Okay, so you gotta go into this one, this one, and then this one, and in that order, and make each uh, library. 
which will create this, these, all these different libraries. So when you go back in that order up here, which is the same, you go into the last step, you got to go into this folder, lib, ASC, ACL, CPP, samples, Redis, and do a make in there. So essentially, uh, so this is the folder you're going to do a make from. So if I do an LS, you can see that there's the make file right here. You just type in make and off it goes. And it will compile without error, should without error, be able to um, be able to compile and make all these subfolder projects as explained here, the cluster, the connection, the hash, and so on and so forth. It runs no problem. So this is the very first pure um, Redis C++ uh, library I got running, which is great. So if I just go under the Redis sample here, so here's my um, directory I'm going into here. When you do an LS on that project, once you do the make at the higher level, it will make this executable. As you can see here, it's on in the flags, it's got that X, which means it's executable. So just want to show you how this program works. So if you go into Redis, this is the source code for redis.cpp. What you'll notice here is um, the usage, which it's not very explained well, but I'll just show you how I figured it out. So if you do a Redis, it does nothing, unknown command. But each of these has its own set of commands. So if you go, uh, in this case, Uh, Redis hyphen H for the help. It will explain all of these parameters for you. So if you want to run just the basic, you could do minus A and then the command of all. So it will connect into do a set get expire and all these other um, Redis commands in your running version of the uh, running server of uh, Redis right here. So. I can show you that this is the case, not smoke and mirrors. I'll run it again. Um, test failed, result null, run open. So it's it's saying connection refused. So that's because the uh, Redis server has been, is not, not running because I broke it and it says bye bye. But as soon as I relaunch it, this will run now. See, so it's there's no exceptions. Or errors. Uh, so a few other things I want to show you. Uh, the only other one I'm going to show you that I kind of know because all these other Redis commands are fairly new in Redis 4. So as I said, we're in the Redis uh, project right now. So if I move up one level, you'll notice uh, we've got this Redis client cluster, Redis connection, Redis cluster, and, and I have no idea how I'm going to uh, run this, but the point is it's it's running, so we have a set, a pool, but I'm going to just do the standard subpub. So what we could do is go into the Redis subpub. And I've shown that many times because I'm pretty comfortable with that. Uh, and yeah, here. Redis hub, there we go. Okay, so if I look at the source code, Redis pub sub. So here, um, there is no dis oh, right here. So these are the commands. So what we can do is we can set up two sessions. One to be the um, subscriber and one to be the publisher and just use the default just to show you it does work. So what we're going to do 
is we are going to run the subscriber first. So Redis pub sub minus a. So we're setting up our subscriber now. So now it's waiting. So what I'll do, I'll create a new terminal session. Oh, before I forget here. We'll relaunch it. So I'll create a new uh, terminal. So, oops. So, sometimes I'm too lazy to print or type out this stuff. Too many arguments. Ha ha ha, CD. There you go. Okay, so now we are. Okay, so we want to go into Redis pub sub. Okay, so we have our subscriber running. Let's see here, it's waiting. So now what we can do is we can do a publish pub sub minus is it a minus a and then uh, publish and it will what it will do is it will send the items right here and I'll print out the messages here on on the receiving end so that's working fine okay so I'm gonna try something new see what happens here I've never done this before so it may or may not work um, so the first thing exit this so I'm going to go into the cluster so I'm going to try the Redis cluster that's a new feature I've never tried but I'm doing it from within the um, so let me see how we set this up Redis cluster CPP. So I believe, so we have a slave. So let's see, okay, so slave, preset, node, connect. Okay, so I think we gotta set a node ID. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Command, slots, nodes, slaves. Okay, let me do a couple of experiments here first. Okay, so we are going to do a Redis cluster minus A mm, info. Test failed. Usage, slaves, node. So we gotta do a, a minus I, node ID for action. Slaves, I guess we could do this. So node ID, I'm going to call it one. I don't know. Uh, so Redis minus cluster minus I for action. I was looking for. Hello? Oh. Oh. Uh, I have no idea. Um. Anyways, I didn't want to get into this too much, but uh, as it stands right now, it does work, which is the main thing, the basics of it. But uh, all these other features, um, I'm not sure how to 
Unless I go to the second one, maybe it might have a better explanation. Uh, Redis cluster. So we are looking for a Redis cluster, Redis connection. These are Redis. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Anyways, sorry to keep you waiting. What? But it does work. Hooray! 